diagnosed me with something. What was it? I don't fucking know. It was so long ago. Let me take a look and see what you're on and what it's for. Okay. Sertraline for mood disorder. Alprazolam for anxiety. Olanzapine for auditory hallucinations. All right, all right, Doc. Damn. Damn. My name is Dennis Abad Jimenez. Title is the Director of Photography, DP. My name is Jerry Claremont. I am an executive producer. My name is JT Lewis. I'm the writer and director of this project. Austin Gray's EP. New York. New York is a beautiful backdrop. I want to show New York. Love. It's always love, betrayal. The story has a lot, and uh, I feel like it touches on everything and people can relate to it. So just as black people in general, we deal with a lot of stressors, extreme situations, and uh, a lot of times we don't go to the proper outlets to uh, express that, to get, basically to deal with our problems. Like a lot of times we bottle stuff inside, so this is showing how that can really mess with a person's psyche and how we deal with it and how Mental health issues affect not only the person dealing with it, but the people around them. This is an area that needs more care. It needs more concern. We need to put many more resources into this invisible, if you will, uh, illness that we see with, uh, or that we don't see, rather, with so many people. And in this particular story, it's very interesting. This is a person who you see going about their lives and many people don't recognize that this person is suffering with a mental health issue. And as we've seen so many times before, um, if the person is not getting the proper mental health, if this person isn't admitting what's going on, then sometimes we tend to lose them. I read the script and I fell in love with the project. As I was reading it, I just saw shots in my head saw how it would look if we get this project produced right. And I thought the script was fabulous. I mean, there were some things about it, quite honestly, that when I had read it, I didn't pick up right away because I had read through it quickly. And when certain things were revealed within the session and within the taping, I was like, wow, now that is deep. Finding this out certainly many ways mirrors what I do in therapy. That there are certain things that are going on and I don't find out about them in the therapy session until maybe three or four or five sessions down the line. And that was the same thing that happened here. And so that aha, oops, I should have had a V8 moment uh, really gave me much more insight into making the therapy session much more real. I was me. I was actually surprised that people liked the script. It was um, I was challenging myself as a writer. It's a different style of writing. I'm normally, you know, that's something I try. It was something new, and I'm looking forward to shooting it because it's uh, it's different from normal from my previous projects. There's no excuse. We could get this film done with what we have, but we I I personally believe this film can has, can be a powerful and really dope film and I think it should be shot the right way. I don't want to make excuses for us wanting money and we can't shoot. We have cameras, we have equipment to get this shit done, but I just want it to be right. I just want it to come out right because I think this is a great script and I think it's a powerful script and it could be a great film. So it should, it deserves to be shot right. In many TV shows, uh, many films, uh, quite often they give you a Hollywood kind of version of what the mental health issues may be. In this particular film, as I understand it, what we're trying to do is show really what happens on a day-to-day -day basis when a person begins to decompensate, how they slowly get worse, what the real struggles are for them financially in trying to afford mental health. 
uh, treatment and if they can't afford it, what it is that they need to do to be able to get the proper mental health that they need, to be able to recognize that. And this film gives a very accurate description as to all of those avenues, the cost of mental health, affording mental health or not being able to afford it, and how the very subtle mental health issues begin to build one after another until a person is so far off the tracks they don't even realize it. We have a vision in our head of the way we really want this film to look, but we don't have the money to allocate the funds to the things that we need to make it look the way we want it to look. So that's super duper frustrating. Um, at this current moment, we don't have enough money, we don't have funds to, to pay our actors, so everybody's doing this off the strength. And when you're not giving people the money, you know, their commitment level, and everybody in this process has been super dope, but, uh, you know, the commitment level is different from paid project versus not paid. We would love for you guys to help us. Um, this project is really dear to me, not only because it's like, I, I want to shoot it, but it's, it does tackle a lot of issues that we need to talk on in our community. All right, so please support us, and um, thank you. <laughs>